Mohamed Morsi was sworn in as Egypt's fifth president and its first elected civilian leader in June last year. It wasn't his style or demeanor that won him votes. It was strong support from the Muslim Brotherhood and Egyptians who did not want to vote in a Mubarak-era figure. He promised a government that would work for all Egyptians and he tried to ease the fears of women and minorities. He said his presidency would not threaten their rights. But politically and economically, it's been a tough year for Mohamed Morsi. His opponents accused him of being a puppet of the Muslim Brotherhood, failing as an international statesman and allowing socio-economic problems to become crises. In the end, that's what sparked the protests that brought down his presidency. The days leading up to his ouster saw millions of his opponents and supporters lining the streets of Cairo. Those who rallied for him said his was the legitimate rule. After all, he was voted into office. The opposition response, Morsi's time in office was a total failure that polarized the country. The International Development Center in Cairo says there have been more than 9,000 protests nationwide over the last 12 months. Hopes the economy would improve have been dashed as inflation soared, unemployment reached a record high, food prices skyrocketed, and fuel shortages became part of everyday life for millions of Egyptians. Sectarian tension has surfaced on numerous occasions over the last 12 months. Morsi may have been praised by many for reigning in the military, but he was criticized when he annulled constitutional amendments passed by the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces that had restricted his powers. For many, his judgment could be inappropriate and insensitive. When protests against him were in full swing, he appointed a former member of the group that took responsibility for the massacre of tourists in Luxor in 1997 as a provincial governor. In a speech a day short of a year since his election win, Morsi conceded that he had made mistakes. But for the Egyptian people, it was already too late. Morsi won the election last year with around 52% of the vote after the uprising that toppled President Hosni Mubarak. The same street power of millions of Egyptian protesters that allowed him into the country's highest office would in the end see him kicked out. Shirin Tadros, Al Jazeera, Cairo.